Thank you for purchasing the REM GrainVac VRX. This video will walk you through basic maintenance tips as described on page 32 in your operator's manual. Make sure that any operator of the REM GrainVac understands all safety information as provided in your manual. Before performing these maintenance steps, place all controls in neutral, stop the engine, disengage the PTO, set your park brake, remove the ignition key, and wait for all moving parts to stop. Let's get started with your pre-operation checklist. The PTO shaft requires greasing in a few places. Each cross has a zerk, and on these, apply one pump of grease. Grease the overrunning clutch. You will also find zerks on the outside of the shielding, one of the most neglected because people don't realize they are there. Give them each two to three pumps. Inspect your front and rear drive belts for wear, alignment, and tension. If they are worn or cracked, replace them right away. On the front belt, press it with your finger to ensure it is taut and in place. Access the rear drive belt by removing the hoses and the rear guard. Gauge the rear belt tension by measuring the length of this spring. Compressed, it should be 3 and 7 8 inches long. Check the tension on your auger drive chain. Apply pressure down on the idler against the chain until there is approximately 3 quarters of an inch of deflection of the chain in the middle of the span between the idler and the top driving sprocket. Lubricate it thoroughly. We recommend using an aerosol chain lube applied when the chain is cold. Check the cleanout door beneath the body. It should be fully closed. Check your inspection door. Make sure the seal is in place all the way around the edge. You will be measuring the tension of the end dump double doors every 100 hours or so, but as you walk by, check them both to ensure that they are snapping shut. Take a good look at where your augers join. The rubber seal should be in good shape with no gaps. The drive dog should not show any signs of wear. This concludes your pre-operation checklist. Lubricate the PTO. Lubricate the overrunning clutch. Check the front and rear belts. Check and lubricate the drive chain. Check the cleanout door. Check the inspection door. Check the end dumper doors. Check the auger seals and drive dogs. Every 20 hours, you will need to grease the rear belt idler. At the rear of the grain vac, behind the guard, you will find one grease zerk on the belt idler fork. One to two pumps of grease are needed here roughly every 20 hours of operation. There are a few things you need to do every 100 hours. Attach an overhead lifting device to the rotor assembly. Remove the 24 bolts from the rotor mount plate as well as the four carriage bolts from the pedestal base. Using a pry bar, separate the rotor mount plate away from the body approximately two inches. Use the overhead lifting device to free the rotor assembly from the machine. Inspect the rotor wrap. It should be smooth and free from grooves or wear. Next, check the rotor for signs of wear. Check the torque on the rotor split taper bushing bolts. They should be 40 foot-pounds. To lubricate the end dump double doors, remove both bolts, apply a thin layer of grease, and reassemble. Using a fish scale, adjust the tension of the small door to 3 pounds of pressure at 1 inch of opening, and the large door to 3 pounds at 1 inch, and a maximum of 6 pounds at 6 inches of opening. To ensure that your gearbox is in top running order, follow these steps. Make sure your vac is level, both front to back and side to side. You want to make sure that your breather functions properly to avoid buildup of pressure, causing the seals to leak. Remove the breather. Clean the breather with a solvent and blow it out with compressed air. Remove the plug on the side fill hole. If oil starts to come out, you have enough oil in the gearbox. If not, Add oil until it starts coming out the side fill hole. Put the side fill plug back into place. Reinstall the breather. The rubber torsion axle has grease zerks beneath these rubber caps. Give them one to two pumps and replace the rubber caps. Retighten the lug nuts. Check the tires for wear. The shear hub needs to stay free in case you blow a shear pin. So give it one to two pumps of grease. To lubricate the front drive shaft bearing, open the guard and apply one to two pumps of grease. At the back of the machine, 
Remove the rear guard and hoses to gain access. Behind the large pulley, there is a bearing. Apply one to two pumps of grease to it. At the very top of your auger, there is one zerk that needs one to two pumps. This concludes your 100 hour checklist. Check the rotor and wrap for wear. Check the rotor bolts. Measure the tension on the end dump doors. Perform gearbox maintenance. Check, lubricate and tighten the tires. Clean and lubricate the shear sprocket. Lubricate the main drive shaft bearings. Lubricate the top auger bearing. Every thousand hours, or annually, you need to top up your gearbox oil. To ensure that your gearbox is in top running order, follow these steps. Make sure your vac is level, both front to back and side to side. You want to make sure that your breather functions properly to avoid buildup of pressure, causing the seals to leak. Remove the breather. Clean the breather with a solvent and blow it out with compressed air. Remove the plug on the side fill hole. If oil starts to come out, you have enough oil in the gearbox. If not, add oil until it starts coming out the side fill hole. Put the side fill plug back into place. Reinstall the breather. If you follow these basic maintenance steps, your GrainVac VRX will run at its best. For performance tips and everything else GrainVac, visit GrainVac.com.